Folk of Deepen. She's a Helmatic 30 and she's priced anywhere between 16 and 30,000. This particular one is built in 1983. She's a powerful, well balanced long kill cruiser and we like her very much. She's got a lot of good features uh, and we'll start down below. She's a six bertha and I'm sitting on one of them which converts to two and there's another one, a sea berth comes over the top of that one. There's a single berth on the uh, on the port side there with a trotter box and there's a forward cabin with two berths with an infill piece. She's got an excellent head for the size of the boat. If you've not taller than five foot nine then you can stand up and wash your hands after you've done your deliberations. Remarkable size for this, this boat. Uh, she has no aft berths at all that is devoted to the cockpit space and the cockpit is deep and safe uh, and uh, well found. You could good bracing positions there. You have a chart table with a thwart for a seat which I rather like because you can wedge yourself between the companion way and the chat table itself. Uh, a very sensible arrangement. Right up aft there you can shout at the helm and tell him where you're going. The galley I like as well. It's simple, it's straightforward. There's a bum strap. Uh, there's a lim uh, workspace is a bit limited but you've got a sink there, a good fridge uh, and as the owner Julian Parlett showed us on the way down here we're actually in Brixham today we've sailed down from Star Cross on the River X a good following breeze we've been reaching at um, 5.6 knots in 10 to 12 knots apparent uh, a nice healthy sail in the sun and uh, she goes very well What I love about my boat is uh, a combination of several things gleaned from owning three cruising boats before this, our fourth cruising boat. The earlier ones had various things that we wanted to avoid. The first one was entirely wood and I realised I wasn't a craftsman but I enjoyed the wood. This boat has a, a very, what I consider to be a very acceptable and enjoyable wooden interior fit out with its table, chart table, companion way, panelling. Um, and being all internal it takes very little maintenance and not being structural uh, there's, there's very little wood involved with the hull. We had other boats and getting older we appreciate very much the fact that this boat has virtually full standing headroom all the way. I'm six foot one tall, um, if I stand up really straight with my feet together I, I can't have full standing headroom but by just putting my feet apart slightly it's quite easy to stand anywhere within the main cabin and uh, throughout the rest of the boat. We also looked for something that would be easy for one or both of us to sail on our own. We wanted something that was manageable rather than high tech or fast and from experience we were looking for and we appreciate with this boat the fact that it has a very heavy displacement over a 50% ballast ratio which gives a very comfortable ride in any sea condition uh, because it tends to go through the waves and through the sea rather than bouncing over the top. The, the fact that we sail from the River X rather constrained our choice as we were looking for something without too much draft and initially it seemed that combining a shallow draft with a high ballast ratio would be an impossibility but I think we've achieved it with this boat four foot six draft with a 50 plus or thereabouts percent ballast ratio um, it's the first boat we've had that my wife Margaret says she hasn't felt seasick on and she enjoys sailing it, it is comfortable and it does perform reasonably well both to windward and downwind which is what we were looking for and we think we've achieved with this. It is small enough for us to be able to get on board and get going reasonably quickly without too much heavy gear but as we're getting older we do appreciate the assistance that is here with two speed winches for the sheets and uh, electric windlass on the foredeck for the anchor. Um, we looked at several boats like this and this one seemed to fit the bill because it was quite clear that the previous owner had looked after it very well, undertaken a great deal of maintenance so it had virtually new standing rigging certainly within the year before we bought it. 
um, good quality fittings, windless radar, the galley's well fitted and this is what we find most useful. Thank you.